an American soldier. One day while visiting the Vietnam Wall, I saw an old man, his t-shirt red, some gave all. He was far too old to be a Vietnam vet. He was at least 80, in a wheelchair, due to war wounds, I bet. Sir, I asked, did you lose someone in the war? He turned and with moist eyes he said, not just someone, son, I lost much more. In the final days of World War II, a sniper's bullet got me. Now I can't walk, run, or stand like you. I came home in this chair to live with my mother. She hugged me and cried, telling me my girl had married another. Drunk, unkempt, I was a real mess. I'd lost my will to live, then I met a sweet gal named Jess. She didn't see the broken man before her. She saw the heart and soul that still lived in this American soldier. We were married. She was a great wife. Several years went by. We found a child was missing from our life. Unable to have a child of our own, we adopted a beautiful son. Finally, our little house was a home. At the age of 30, Headaches plagued Jess. Doc said she had cancer. Told us to make memories before she left us. I lost the only woman I would ever truly love. She's waiting for me to come, to be with her and my buddies in heaven above. The boy grew as they tend to do. He told me he'd join the army. You know, Dad, I want to be like you. He fought in the jungles of Vietnam. One day a telegram arrived. I knew that he had joined his mom. Years go by. Loneliness grows weaker. Joy was scarce, but I'll never regret being an American soldier. You see, I love this country, the bad and good. This chair is my badge of honor, and I'd do it all again if I only could. Lowering his head, the tears began to fall. He cried while sitting in front of his son's name engraved on the wall. Sir, I whispered, your t-shirt is very true. Some gave all, and for that I salute and say thank you.